The George Zimmerman verdict over the weekend sparked a fire on social media that led to a slew of protests, including the one you're looking at now in Union Square in New York City, where we are now. Welcome to Digits. I'm Simon Constable, Rubina Fillion of the social media team here at The Journal joins us now to discuss this. Thanks, thanks for being here. Now, during this trial, backing up a bit, um, Trevor Martin's family were tweeting all the way through, weren't they, building up a following. That's correct. Um, both Trayvon Martin's mother and father, I believe his father has a Twitter following now of almost 100,000 people and his mother has a Twitter following of more than that. And his mother particularly was very active with live tweeting the trial. And every day she would put out a tweet that said how she was feeling that day mm. and how she was pushing and pray praying for the verdict that she thought was correct. Now, what role did social media play in activating people to get out to these protests because they really were very quickly organized and uh, they appear to have largely been peaceful as well. That's correct. I would compare these protests most to either the Arab Spring or Occupy Wall Street. Mm. Um, both of those sets of protests really took off because of social media and were able to adopt a following quickly and organize without really having a lot of um, physical ties. It was just that you could put up the locations and have people meet up there and all of a sudden you have large numbers of peaceful protests. And that they were really clustered in New York City, but they were there were some in basically every major city in the country. Now there were a lot of uh, entertainers doing some some tweeting, including Miley Cyrus, and she had one that was retweeted some astronomical forty seven thousand times. Astronomical, right? That's correct. And her tweet was actually very simple. It just said no justice, no peace. And um, the words no justice uh, as a hashtag were trending on uh, social media for quite a while. And another, another tweet that did particularly well was Michael Moore's, which got almost 25,000 retweets. Now, I understand that social media is now also being used to help organize f more protests for this coming weekend. That's correct. I think that, that you'll be seeing protests throughout the week. Probably the most will be happening mm -hmm. over the weekend. Mm -hmm. um, and there were even small protests that sprang up on Saturday night, which is really pretty impressive. Usually the weekends are pretty slow for social media, and the fact that the verdict came out late on a Saturday and still was able to elicit a lot of interest on social media is significant. Uh, and it, it's interesting. I mean, that's partly because people are so connected. It, it doesn't require people to wait to get the newspaper the next day and see what it's there or be, be watching TV. They can actually be, be interacting with it on their devices, right? Absolutely. I found out about the verdict very quickly after it was released. And if you look at some of the celebrity tweets from Rihanna or John Legend or um, Nicki Minaj, all of those tweets came out that night. Mm. So that meant that the celebrities, who presumably are pretty busy people, were not only heard about the trial pretty soon after it happened, but they had the wherewithal to actually tweet about it immediately. Now, a man who's considered it by some to be an argent provocateur, Michael Michael Moore, he, he tweeted a link to a magazine to, to to sort of get people involved in the protest. Tell us about that. That's correct. Michael Moore was really active, really p over the past 48 hours in, in mobilizing people. And one thing that he did was link to this magazine site that's actually a pretty small, dinky sort of magazine, but it had a listing of all of the different places where people were organizing to meet up. And um, throughout the day on Sunday, he was saying, join us, help us with these protests, and really being very vocal. And most of his tweets were retweeted thousands of times. Wow, and it's pretty pretty interesting here. Yeah. And I know that if you want to have a protest, oftentimes in, in a lot of cities, you need a license to do that. I guess they dispensed with that, and given that they were peaceful, it wasn't a problem, right? I didn't hear about any sort of problems. Okay, interesting stuff. I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot more about this. Rubina Fillion of the social media team at The Journal. I'm Simon Constable, and that was Digits.